doing a little bit of work on April's V. It has an aftermarket radio and a Tato maybe. And steering wheel remotes didn't work. Uh, backup camera didn't work. Had some buttons messed up down here. A lot of just little things that we weren't happy with on that. So we're going to put it all back to stock and then do a nicer aftermarket setup later. Um, did not have the factory nav in this one. It has the little display here it looks like and had the radio setup in here. You know, DVD player, all that nice happy stuff. But it's just a lot of things that we weren't happy with how it was working. So we're going to put it back to stock. Now oh, look, here's April now. Hi. Hello. And then... She's going to clean her shift boot, you know, go through some maintenance items like that and just make everything work original and then go back and put in a nice uh, aftermarket unit that'll support the steering wheel controls, backup camera and things like that. You liking it so far though? Yeah. Good. Hey April. <laughs> So, LKQ. LK, uh, update what we did yesterday. We started where I was taking your old radio out. Yeah, Chris made me take my radio out. But tell, say why though. Don't just say we took the radio out. We took it out because some buttons weren't working. So we put it back to factory. And the HVAC, the, some buttons weren't working. Steering wheel buttons weren't working. The backup camera wasn't working. It was just some things we didn't like. So we're missing the harness off the back of our radio. So now we're at LKQ looking for that harness. And what else were we looking for here? Oh, the plug for your front bumper. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of cars. That's bigger than I thought. Oh, that's what you said. So, see if we can find, there was a couple CTSs here. We'll see if we can find the parts and be back with you guys soon. You think we should buy the whole thing or just the parts we need? I'm not going to a stock radio. We are putting a stock radio in here. Yes, I know, I'm very sad about it. Look, show the harness. Hey guys, this, this is one. what we were missing. This whole thing, this whole harness. I don't even know why you took it off because it's like attached. So I don't know why you would take it off, but we will get in here now and pull this whole thing out. Then I was asking Chris, I'm like, how come when you go to LKQ and you're taking stuff apart, like stuff never breaks? But I'd be daggone. You're trying to take it out of your car. I didn't break nothing on your car, just so you know. I don't know why you're even saying that. No, I'm just saying in general. I will admit, because... I don't know. You know something else I forgot to bring? Snips to cut with. Why didn't you cut? Cut these, uh... These. Oh, zip ties? I might have a razor blade in here. How do you feel about what we got? What all did you get? We got the um, little jumper harnesses. For the radio, for the so we radio. should be able to finish that today. We took the trim, because of course, you know. Oh, the trim on the doors and up here. Not on this car, of course, but she's going to wrap it. Ah, we're going to do carbon fiber. We're not sure if we're going to do the gloss carbon fiber or the, like a, it's not, it's 3D carbon fiber, like the, looks like the dry carbon fiber. So. We're gonna do that. We got some trim pieces we were missing out of the trunk. I already bought them on eBay. We'll see if he uh, refunds us. We'll see. But we're going to go home and throw that together and see if we can't get the radio to work 100%. I know that'll make you happy. Hello, April. Hi. <laughs> got your radio all working finally. Jesus. We had to take a little time to get everything behind it just happy um it had an aftermarket radio so you have to remove some of the things in there for the supports but anyways we've got all that straight we went ahead and put the harnesses in it worked that of course works all the hvac works now there was a couple buttons that weren't wasn't weren't working previously so we're ready to go she's going to daily it for a few days and just drive it and enjoy it because we've really only driven it to cruise ins and things and what else did you fix in the back, April? Show us that real quick. Oh, yeah, these. Those. I mean, my, my gr grocery getter. I can go get groceries. And also, we're missing some of these. We went ahead and put the, 
these in. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Yes. Got that on up. I see what happened. All right. Getting pulled out. So okay. we will well, fix that too. Thanks, Chris. Uh -huh. Nothing to tell you. It could have been worse. <laughs> Let's fix this. Yay. Got us uh, some nice new struts. These are some, I guess you would say more expensive ones. But now, opens like normal. These are just a higher quality ones, I think. And they don't hit. So I think that was because of just the cheaper ones that were on there. You can see where they're actually been rubbing for quite some time. So, actually this one hits a little bit, but it's really good. Anyways, a lot of little things getting done here. So we've got the struts on here now. Got the radio fixed. And just going through this thing overall. Until next time. We'll get some more exciting updates besides boring OEM stuff, but uh, uh, we're going to definitely do more to it soon.